Hello beautiful artists! Today we are going to learn how to draw a sugar skull. These colorful skulls are symbols of the Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos in Mexico. On Day of the Dead each year, people place sugar skull on graves and altars in honor of their deceased and loved ones. This is a festival that's all about celebrating death and remember one's family members. These squirrels are going to be colorful and they are going to have lots of symbols, patterns and flowers. Let's start by drawing our sugar school by drawing an upside heart on the middle of the paper. That's going to be our nose. On each side of the nose we are going to draw two circles. Those are going to be the eyes. And now we are going to draw a big semicircle that goes all the way up top and that's going to be the top part of our skull. Behind the eyes, we are going to think of two circles and we are going to do also a semicircle in each side and those are going to be the cheekbones. And from the cheekbones, we are going to draw two vertical lines that come from each side and then a curvy horizontal line for our teeth. Then we're going to draw these diagonal lines for the jawline. Now let's draw the teeth, we are going to draw some vertical lines and we are going to make them into like little ovals. Those are going to be the teeth of our sugar school. Once we have the outline of this school, now it's where the fun part begins. We are going to decorate it however we want to. Remember, just be creative and try to put as many symbols, uh, colors, uh, patterns, flowers you want. I'm gonna start by drawing a double line in the eyes and I'm gonna make each eye like if it was a flower. That is something very popular in sugar schools in Mexico. They, they put the eyes as if they were flowers. So I'm drawing a flower in one eye and let's try to make this school as symmetrical as possible. So whatever I do in one side, I'm going to repeat it in the other side. So I'm making another flower pattern on the other eye. Okay, in the nose I'm maybe going to do a pattern of like spikes or little triangles. But again, in here you can do whatever you want. Maybe in the nose you also want to draw the pattern of a, of a flower. What else can I do? Okay, in the cheeks, I'm also going to do a flower in each cheek. Since it's symmetrical, I'm going to try to do what I did in one side, exactly the same in the other side. And on top, I think I'm going to draw some flowers. It's gonna kind of remind me, remind me of a Frida Kahlo, how she had the flowers on top of her, on top of her head. You know, a good thing you can do is you can watch the movie Coco. In the movie Coco, like all, uh, there are lots of sugar skulls, so maybe that can inspire you. I'm also gonna draw some leaves that come from the flowers up top. A very floral design. And let's continue with the forehead. Uh, in the forehead, I'm gonna draw kind of like a mandala. Okay, it's gonna be a mandala, but a different one. It's not gonna be the whole way circular. It's just gonna be the part of the forehead. So I'm just drawing in the middle a heart, and then I'm just drawing some leaves or some ovals and just some uh, random uh, symbols or patterns like circles or like uh, organic shapes. And what else can I do? Okay, here 
on that jawbone, I'm gonna draw another flower. You know, I really like floral designs. So, I'm gonna do a flower, and it's also gonna look like a mandala, okay? Not a whole size mandala, but a half size mandala, like divided in the middle. I'm gonna draw some symbols, some circles, some organic shapes. Let's add some circles on each side. Remember, I'm trying to make it symmetrical. And I think I'm almost done. Let's do something for the upper lip. I'm just gonna draw two lines of leaves. I'm also gonna draw some patterns on top of the teeth. And last but not least, I think I'm gonna add a full size flower inside each eye. I think that's gonna make it uh, kind of cute, even though it's a skull, well, it's a sugar skull, it's gonna make it look really nice. And I think I'm done with drawing my design. Doesn't it look cool? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a black marker and I'm gonna outline uh, all the lines I just made. I'm gonna speed up a little bit this process so it doesn't take forever. But remember, take your time, we're not in a hurry. And if you want, you can draw even more details to make a more interesting picture, like I'm doing here in the flowers that I just added some dots. Just painting the black part of the eyes and of the nose black with my marker and now that I'm done with my marker I'm gonna grab an eraser and erase all the pencil lines I made before and now my design is ready for color. I'm gonna be using very bright, powerful colors on all the sugar skull. You can use any colors you want. I'm using crayons, but you can use markers or even if you have watercolors. I'm just gonna try to make them, again, very bright, very powerful and vibrant colors. And ta-da! Here I have my Mexican sugar skull. Don't forget to sign your name as the truly artist you are. And the good thing about these kind of drawings is that you can make many different designs. You can be very creative and there are many options. For example, I draw this one, but 
I'm also making different designs like this other one. So you can make as many as you want. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you very soon. Bye!